Hello, Telvani here, and today I wanted to share with you some of my plans for Path of Exile 3.25 Settlers of Kalgur. Two pretty interesting shakeups are happening this league that have influenced my league start decision. First, GGG has decided to buff most melee and strike skills. This means that an all time favorite of mine, Lightning Strike, is back on the menu. And from initial POB warrioring, Lightning Strike is looking like it is going to be incredibly strong again this league. Another big change is that GGG has gone and, well, I don't want to say butchered, but uh, removed my favorite class from the game. Raider was a go-to pick of mine for a long time, as it had incredible offenses and defenses, and gave very early access to suppression and ailment immunity. Rip Raider, you will be missed. However, in its stead, we've been given a brand new Ranger Ascendancy, the Warden. And while early game, I don't think this Ascendancy is going to be as tanky and budget-friendly as the old Raider was. Mid to late game, after you've sorted out your suppression and ailment immunity, however, the Bark Skin mechanic, which offers increased physical damage reduction and evade chance based on if you've been hit recently, could actually be quite strong. At the moment, however, it's a little difficult to say until we get a chance to play around with it in-game. Finally, the Warden looks like it's got some very juicy damage passives allowing us to stack shocks for up to 100% more damage, and the Unbound Fury skill, which, while active, gives us 80% more damage as well. So preliminarily, the damage on Warden is looking very nice, but again, as this is an untested ascendancy, it'll be hard to know for sure until we get some more hands-on experience. So if you decide to play Warden, do so at your own risk. Anyway, all of this is to say that my tentative League Starter is going to be Lightning Strike Warden. I would have been happier to say that my league starter was going to be Lightning Strike Raider, however I am willing to give the new Ascendancy a fair shake. I've included a POB of my initial thoughts on Lightning Strike Warden for league start in the description below. I'm going to be upfront with you, my league start builds are usually focused on what my gear, tree, and skills will look like in a day 1-2 to two sort of scenario. For example, this POB doesn't have any Eldritch Implicits, as in a league start scenario, you're not going to have currency to just roll for the double implicits you want. I may do an update video later in the league once I've invested currency into the build, but I also might not. As this is a league starter build, like I've done many times at league start, I'm going to be recommending the White Wind Dagger as your starting weapon. This thing really packs a punch and is usually only around 5 chaos. Having played many, many leagues with White Wind as my starter weapon, I've found that time and time again, this unique dagger simply performs better than most claws, until you can afford to dump a lot of currency into a well-rolled, rare claw. Traditionally, it'll take around a 100 chaos claw to match the DPS of a White Wind setup, and until you can afford a weapon that outperforms, not just matches, there really isn't any reason to invest the currency into a different weapon besides White Wind. Additionally, the empty offhand bonuses of White Wind can be incredibly powerful early game, as it can provide up to 40% spell suppression and 200% increased cold damage, which is absolutely crazy considering the best suppression available on a chest is only like 20%. Alright, that's enough fangirling over White Wind. A few more things to mention here before we wrap up this video. Historically, I've also recommended playing Spectral Helix at League Start, and then transitioning into a Lightning Strike build once you can afford a little bit more gear. However, with the massive buffs to Lightning Strike, this isn't as necessary as it used to be. On paper, Lightning Strike now surpasses Spectral Helix in terms of damage, even pretty early on. And my plan going into this league is to start Spectral Helix during the campaign and then transition much, much earlier than I would have in past leagues, probably in the second half of the campaign or around the time I start entering maps. Basically, as soon as you get the plus one strike mastery from multi-shot and the plus three pierce passives on the tree, you can look to start running lightning strike right away. Finally, I just wanted to say that I am planning on playing this league mostly for fun. I'm not streaming on Twitch 10-hour days, grinding for subs. I'm not pushing a Patreon or asking for PayPal donations. This channel has always been a hobby project of mine, and it's certainly not paying the rent. So if I find a cool currency-making strategy, 
or want to do a project where I track loot, I'll probably make a video. If I discover a crazy league mechanic or an underappreciated unique, I'll probably make a video. Or if I feel like I've made a pretty solid build later in the league, again, I'll probably make a video. But for now, I'm going to avoid just pushing out a video every day. Because that's what the YouTube algorithms say is most efficient, and that's what you're supposed to do. I've generally found that I'm happier with the quality of my work when it comes from a place of excitement for the game, rather than a desire to min-max the content creation minigame. Anyway, thank you for watching, good luck with your league, and I'll see you in the next one.